I made a synth app. It's called Hagrid. So this is a web app, which means you can play it in your browser. And I'm gonna post the link in the description. On your phone it's gonna be a little bit downscaled. You know. So let's look at the grid. Notes are mapped out on every square on the grid. The lowest is up here, and the highest is down here. If you click on one, you get four arrows to choose between. Now watch this. Press play. It's kind of like Snake. It's when it hits the grid, uh, like the end of the grid, it stops. And here's where it gets interesting. If I create an arrow in the opposite direction, then we create a loop. Hmm? And now you, you don't have to stop there. We can take a detour. Or you can, you can go crazy with it. The first arrow you create will be the starting position. Oh, if you press on the same arrow again, you can uh, change direction. Change direction or you can remove it by pressing it in the middle. Here on the side we got some, we can uh, adjust the tempo and make it faster. And make it slower. We can uh, we can add some some reverb. Can make it really dry, and we can change uh, the waveforms. We have like sine, square, triangle, and sawtooth. I might use some like music theory words but if you don't understand them don't worry but I think you just by seeing what I do it might give you ideas you can just try stuff and sometimes it's gonna sound cool and sometimes it's gonna sound like crap every note in the grid is based on one arpeggio and let me explain what an arpeggio is. Uh, a chord is several notes played at the same time, but if you take those individual notes and play them uh, one at a time, then you have an arpeggio. The default uh, arpeggio is a major seven, and it sounds like this. And we can change to minor. And on the custom option we can enter our own intervals. You can just uh, play around with numbers and see what, what happens. So let's try like one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. And we can try just three. It's diminished. And uh, how about four? So if I just enter one number, it's going to be the same interval uh, mapped out in every direction. Mm. Back to major. In the grid size options, you can decide how many grids, now how many squares are going to be mapped out on the grid. And the default setting is 15 times 15. And on cell phone, it's 6 times 8, I think. So let's make something of this. Uh, uh, Six times three, three. Uh, okay, we got this pattern. This, yeah, I like this. I like this look. Okay, so we got this going for us. And the, yeah, yeah, this sounds cool. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. All right. Oh, this it kind of sounds like Mario. Yeah, this, this, this. Um, 
like a Mario sound. Uh, anyways, anyways, this is insane. Gotta chill it down, man. Chill. Okay, like that. One thing you can do is uh, on the grid, you can make the squares like really, really small. Uh, if you enter a really high number, the the limit is 25 times 25, and you will see why. Because even though it looks pretty cool, it's not very practical. Because you can't even you can't hear the highest notes, and this is the hertz are too high for the human ear. But I'm e I'm even like interested if is there actually is it producing sound or is it just like could your dog hear this if if we stay up here? So you you can make like an album with only pitches that only like dogs can hear. That would be that would be kind of cool. Then we have angle and this <clears throat> I don't know if this is a good name for it but this is kind of hard to explain. It's basically the relationship between the uh, I guess how how the how the no <laughs> I, I don't know <laughs> It's basically the relationship between the uh, uh, I guess how So the short answer is that angle with the side how the arpeggio is mapped out on the grid and in symmetric it will be in several keys and in diatonic it will be in just one key The symmetric one will sound a little bit more experimental and that's the default setting So this is the first version, so feedback is appreciated. Like that I letter for instance, why, why is it there? There's no instructions or info in there. So yeah, yeah I'm removing it right now. Uh, have any weird uh, errors or bugs? Yeah, you can tell me and there will be some and you can refresh the page if that happens. If you find any cool patterns or anything, send me them uh, on Instagram or something, because I would love to hear them. Well, enjoy and uh, over and out.